departments. Colin Myler has led the staff, uh, 200 of them, out of the second floor offices of the News of the World from the newsroom as he's made absolutely sure, having received a hard copy in his hands, that the last thank you and goodbye headline of the News of the World has gone to print and is ready now to be distributed around the country. Five million printed when normally only three would have done because they know this is a historic moment for a paper with 168 years of history behind it. The emotion was writ large, not only in the editor's face, but also in those staff behind him as they applauded bravely as they had been instructed to hold their heads up high throughout the afternoon as they went about a task they must, in their hearts, have found hard to do, which is write one last edition of a paper they never thought they'd see finish in this way. This is what the editor had to say just moments ago. Okay. Well, as you can see, this is the, the front and back page of the final edition of tomorrow's News of the World. It's actually our 8,674th edition after 168 proud years. It's not a record of any editor to want to close a title. Of course, I didn't close it. Um, I want to pay tribute to this wonderful team of people here who... after a really difficult day have produced a brilliantly professional way a wonderful newspaper so I'm sorry um, as I said to the staff this morning this is not we where we wanted to be and it's not where we deserve to be but as a final tribute to seven and a half million readers this is for you and for the staff. Thank you. And now in the, the best traditions of Fleet Street, we're going to the pub. Thank you.